Kirtland Lake is a mining town in northeastern Ontario, Canada, that sits on top of one of the highest grade gold deposits in the world. There have been over 30 mines in the area, producing over 47 million ounces of gold. There is currently one mine operating on the deposit called Macassa, run by Kirkland Lake Gold, which has recently reached a feat of 5 million ounces of gold poured. The problem with the gold around Kirkland Lake is that there is over 5,000 feet of solid rock between the surface and the gold, so how do they do it? Miners descend more than 4,500 feet underground. When they arrive, they are taken through the drifts, which are like large tunnels, to their work sites. At one of the underground sites, geologists collect rock samples by drilling deep into the rock using a diamond drill. They collect core samples like these and examine them to tell miners which way to drill next. Once a direction is chosen, engineers set out a specific pattern to drill, and the miners come in and drill holes in the face of the drift. The holes are loaded with explosives. Once everyone is back on the surface and the tunnels are all clear, the blast occurs and the tunnel is extended by about 10 feet. When the next shift arrives, the muckers come in and remove the muck from the blast. Some of our muckers are even controlled via tele-remote controllers on the surface. The muck is then separated into ore, which contains the gold. After the muckers have cleared up the ground, miners come in to reinforce the tunnel with screen and rock bolts using tools such as the jack leg drill and stoppers. The ore is transferred from the remuck to the ore passes, where the trucks get loaded from chutes. Then, the muck is hauled to the ore pass rock breaker that processes the muck to 16-inch squares. The ore is then sent to the ore pass and loaded into the skip at the loading pocket. From there, the ore is skipped to the surface via the shaft. Did you know KL Gold's Macassa Mine was the first company in Canada to use battery-powered trucks? As KL Gold is moving away from using diesel fuel in mining, they've partnered with artisan trucks and they have zero emissions. They take up a smaller footprint compared to the diesel trucks. Here's the inside of an artisan truck in the underground charging station where all the batteries are charged. The unique thing about these trucks is that they load and unload their batteries hydraulically from the operator's compartment, making them far more efficient. Ore is sent above ground via a skip and into the jaw crusher above ground. The rock is crushed into pieces around 4 inches in diameter, or the size of a softball. Once the ore is small enough, it travels by conveyor belts to other crushers that continue to make it smaller. The final crusher crushes the ore down to 7 sixteenths of an inch, which is about the size of a Cheerio. Once the ore is this size or smaller, the ore goes to the mill via a conveyor belt and is dumped into the fine ore bin. The fine ore bin holds 1,600 tons of ore, which is about as heavy as 14 blue whales. The ore is then fed into the grinding mill, which has thousands of two and a half and three inch balls made of steel that grind the ore to make it smaller. Once it's small enough, it goes into another grinding mill that is filled with one inch balls that grind the ore into an even finer slurry. Once ground, the ore goes through a cyclone that works like a toilet bowl to separate the larger pieces from the finer pieces. Once the ore is fine enough, like flour, it goes into leach tanks. These leach tanks are filled with chemicals that take the gold out of the ore. Once the gold is removed from the ore, it is heated and mixed with chemicals to purify it. Then it goes into an oven to dry overnight. By morning, the gold looks like what you see here, ashes.
The gold is mixed with chemicals and poured into a furnace that is over 1,000 degrees Celsius. The gold becomes molten and separates into matte and slag. The slag contains the waste. Because gold is heavy, the slag is on top and is poured out first. Then, the bars are poured in molds and a pin sample is taken to determine the gold and silver content. The gold content is usually 80 to 90% gold and 6 to 12% silver. Once the bars are cooled, they are weighed, stamped, packaged, and sent to a refinery. With KL Gold being the largest employer in Kirkland Lake, with approximately 757 employees and 190 contractors currently working at Macasa, they are a huge asset to Kirkland Lake. Safety is a key factor in what they do, and we look forward to watching their expansion as they complete shaft number four, which will become the main shaft, making Macasa more efficient.